Hi everyone, thank you for joining. I'm Yaniv, Head of Product Management, Threat Prevention. The reason I'm showing you this slide, which is a bit technical, don't be afraid, is to show you the attack phases of SolarWinds, focusing on the red dotted lines in stages two and three. These red lines represent the communication of the infected host with the attacker infrastructure to get further instructions on its next propagation steps. In these stages, ThreatLoud can identify the traffic and communication attempts and terminate them. How? The following slide shows it. We've added two new AI-based models, deep learning models, to cover two main DNS tunneling techniques. First is the DGA, Domain Generation Algorithm. Now, I won't dive into specifics, but basically, if we take, for example, a URL such as mail.google.com, the domain name is Google, which is a known and a reputable domain. In the DGA technique, the domain is being generated in real time on the infected host to bypass reputation solutions that already flag that domain as malicious. So it's been generated in real time and used in a newly seen DNS query. And what we did here is to train a DGA deep learning model based on billions of samples we have in Threat Cloud. And once we see a new domain, the deep learning model can say if it is likely to be a legit domain or it is uh, likely to be malicious and then block it. The second technique is the DNS tunneling. Basically, when the attacker needs to communicate back with the C2 server, they encrypt the data in the subdomain, as shown in the example, which was actually, uh, I took it from, uh, from the SolarWinds attack. So ThreatCloud uses two AI-based models to determine whether the domain or the subdomain of a DNS query are legitimate, and if they are used for malicious purposes, and then it blocks it. If you have any further question, feel free to contact me or anyone else from the threat prevention team.